Hello all you awesome humans, I am Kat D and welcome back to my channel. Today we are here with another movie review or a Wheel of Disney Plus movie review and today we will be reviewing Doctor Strange. <laughs> So Doctor Strange is the 14th movie in the MCU and is directed by Scott Derrickson and we follow a gentleman named Dr. Stephen Strange who is portrayed by the very talented in my opinion Benedict Cumberbatch. I really feel like he's one of the reasons that this movie did so well in my opinion. Um, but we'll get to that in a little bit. So Dr. Steven, Steven Strange is kind of an arrogant, no he really is an arrogant neurosurgeon who really bases the value of his life on the ability to use his hands, do surgery, and his photographic memory. So really his intellect. Um, and this is what like encompasses what he feels like this is why his life is important. Important. So one fateful night he gets into an accident that leaves him with the inability to use his hands. Now, um, you can imagine if you are the type of person who has one skill and you say, if I'm not doing the skill, what am I doing? I have no purpose. Obviously, this led him to almost to the brink of madness. Well, when uh, traditional medicine fails him um, uh, through the course of what happens with the movie, he, it leads him to Kathmandu in this monastery type of place where he seeks out the Ancient One, who is actually portrayed by Tilda Swinton. Um, and I'm going to come back to my thoughts on that later. But um, So Tilda Swinton is the Ancient One, and he seeks out her teachings in order to heal himself and his hands. Now he is kind of skeptical with the fact that this means that it's it's not the traditional sense of medicine. He quickly learns that this is not what he expected. He is thrown into a world of interdimensions and magic and his logical mind has a hard time grasping that. Um, but then he eventually begs Tilda Swinton, the Ancient One, to teach him uh, in order to, you know, heal himself from the inside out. Um, so while following that, we have this other side. So you, we meet this other character um, that's played by Mads Mikkelsen. Um, who is Caecilius, who used to be a former student of this said monastery and the ancient one. And he has kind of taken a more ominous route. He wants to basically draw power from the dark dimension, um, where time does not exist in order to have a longer life or, in, I guess, not die at all, um, and draw power from all of this. And uh, basically, he is our villain in this movie. And so Dr. Stephen Strange kind of finds himself in the middle of this interdimensional war between Caecilius and um, the different sanctums of this monastery. So they're protecting basically the universe and the world as they know it. And it's not what he signed up for. And he is just kind of battling whether or not this is what he wants. Does he want to be this person? Does he want to be a protector of the world or does he just want to heal himself and get back to the world that he knows? And you see this inner struggle with him. You see him going from being a doctor who is the type of person who is healing people, arrogant or not, healing people and saving people to a person that's able to kill a person. And um, you see how that affects him mentally and um, I just, I just, I really felt like this is an origin story, so I felt like they did a really, really good job with that. Um, I do want to briefly mention that Rachel McAdams does play um, a, a doctor in this as well, uh, Christine Palmer, who is, I feel at one point may have been a love interest to, to Doctor Strange, but it felt like more of a really weird friendship in my opinion like a strong friendship and a close friendship but kind of a a dysfunctional friendship um so yeah uh, but the pl the parts that she did play i think added greatly to the movie i think that it was just enough where it didn't feel like a forced character uh, you knew why she was there they introduced her early they introduced her before everything happened and um, you saw bits and pieces of their relationship throughout the movie without it being forced. 
So some of the things I liked about this uh, movie was definitely the cast. They did a great job with the cast. Um, I know that there was some backlash a little bit when they cast Tilda Swinton as the ancient one because of her ethnicity. I don't think it mattered. I think that she did a great job with this uh, this role. I don't. I think that um, she handled it very very well, and um, I'm glad that she was cast as that role, despite the fact that that was one of the pushbacks that they've gotten. Um, I think Benedict Cumberbatch was the perfect Doctor Strange. He has enough of the arrogance and humor. I feel like this could be him in real life. Um, I think he did a really great job. Um, I, I love Rachel McAdams. One of my favorite movies that she was in was in The Notebook. I just, I love her. Uh, I think that she does a really good job at portraying emotion, even if it's just in like bits and pieces. I think that she does a great job. Um, and some of the other characters that I didn't talk about before, um, we have Benedict Wong, Wong, yes, another Benedict, um, who plays Wong, who is kind of like the guardian of all of the books in this monastery, um, and he kind of protects them, and, um, I love the dynamic between Doctor Strange and Wong. It's just hilarious. It's kind of where some of the humor uh, comes into the movie, which I really do love. I love the humor in this movie. Um, and then you have, Sh I cannot pronounce his name. It's like Shewetel uh, E. Joifer. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm like pr pretty much brutalizing that. Um, but he was, he plays Mordo and Mordo is an essential part of this movie. Um, they cast him very well. Now Mordo is one of those people that really, he is, he is by the book. He wants to do everything the way that the ancient one says, and he's following these guidelines. He's lived his life this way. And, you know, you find out in the movie, basically something happens and you, he finds out that it's not exactly a straight line and he has a hard time dealing with that as well. So I loved his character. I loved him in this movie. I think he did a really great job. Um, another really great thing that they did was the visual effects. Now, I wasn't able, I did not see this movie in 3D. Um, I've read and I've listened to other people say that they've really enjoyed it in 3D. Um, obviously, this is, uh, you know, three years later. It came out three years ago. Um, and I'm just watching it on regular television. And just like most of the people that you guys, I'm reviewing it for Disney+. Plus. With that being said, it was still really great. Now, we have movies like The Matrix and Inception and... Um, I'll bring those two up because The Matrix was one of the first movies that you really got that type of slow motion, awesome, kind of like action packed scene. And then Inception did a really great job with the buildings. And, you know, if you've seen the movie Inception, you'll know what I'm talking about. And they kind of put both of those together with the action scenes with the, um, I think it would be impossible not to compare the two, but they did a really, really great job with it. I think it was just enough to where I really wasn't like, oh, that's CGI. Like, I think that I was so focused on what else was going on that the visual effects really just did um, elevate the story and not take away from it. So I thought that was really, really, really good. Um, as for what I wished was different or if I had some um like criticisms um i really wish that uh mad Mi mad mickelson uh, kaecilius i wish we would have known why he was bad i wish we would have got a little more of his backstory i wish that his character was more flushed out um i have uh i love villains <laughs> one of my favorite villains is a disney villain who's maleficent and i hated her movies because of the way that they handled her backstory um, I feel like um, it is very important to understand uh, people's actions and motivations behind something. And I know this movie was two hours, and I know it was about Doctor Strange, but I really felt like they could have added just a little bit more just so we knew what happened and what the break was and why he felt like he needed to, uh, you know, tamper into the dark dimension and try to... Um, uh, call on Dormammu, Dormammu, who, you know, if you've seen, you'll see the movie. He is essentially the villain of the villain. <laughs> it's, anyway, so that's, that would be one of my arguments. And my other one would really be kind of like, it's three years later now, and we've been waiting for another Doctor Strange. Now, I know the MCU has been really busy with all these other movies coming out and trying to finish up 
um, the Avengers and these other storylines and I just feel like when you have a movie like this you've got to follow that momentum you had good momentum you've had people like who did not know who Doctor Strange was before like me I didn't know a ton about Doctor Strange but after this movie I was definitely trying to read more about him I wanted to grab graphic novels and comic books and was like oh I want to know more about Doctor Strange I felt the same way about Wonder Woman uh which is a DC movie I know we're not talking about that but I felt the same way with Wonder Woman whenever I I uh, watched that movie so I had that same inclination that Benedict Cumberbatch did such a good job portraying this character that I wanted to know more about him so yeah if I were to rate this movie I would definitely give it a good 8 out of 10 the humor the action it was great um like I said there were some things that could have been flushed out a little bit more and like I said I didn't have an issue with Tilda Swinton and the ethnicity that you know they wanted her to be I guess the proper ethnicity for the role um I thought that she did a really great job and I think that we live in a world now where you know it doesn't matter those are my thoughts let me know if you guys plan on watching it if you've seen it what your thoughts on it before you guys I am Kat D please give this video a big thumbs up comment down below and subscribe and make sure down in the down bar if you there's a movie on the Disney plus platform that you would like me to watch go ahead and put it down there and yeah make sure you hit the notification bell if you want to be notified whenever my videos are up thanks guys bye